Well, hello, my dears. I thought I would do a little update on the garden and the chickens and just life in general. So, my name's Jody. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Um, so, I have my little chickens. They're doing really good. And I'm going to show you what they look like. All right. So, here's our little chickens. They're in the big coop. They're doing great. They're growing. And this, this is Bob, and Bob is just the sweetest little thing. So I really wanted a super, super friendly rooster. So we got four Buff Orpingtons, including two roosters. And they had little marks on their heads. And so um, I kept marking their heads, and it kept, keeps wearing off. Anyway, and so we got him out here. But Bob just, like, comes running to me and just is so friendly will just sit on my lap and loves to be petted and loves to be held so then about a few days ago maybe about a week ago ish um one of the roosters crowed for the first time and but i couldn't tell which one it was and of course you know so i, I figured bob would eventually grow and bob's the only one that has names of a name of all these chickens anyway and then about two days later two of them were crowing and I came out here and looked, and neither of them was Bob. So it turns out Bob's a hen, but she's a really friendly hen. So we've got two roosters. They're not bad, so there's one of them. And, they're, and they let me hold them, and then there's the other one. Um, and then, of course, there's Bob. So I'm going to continue to call her Bob. And she's just the sweetest thing in the world, and I really like her. So here, are these, these little guys, they're still they're jumping in and out all the time. But anyway, they're pretty fun, and um, they're doing well. So these are our fig trees. We took cuttings from our previous place, and they're doing really, really good. So we'll probably, I don't know, we'll probably plant them this fall, maybe? But it's kind of amazing. Fig trees are really easy to propagate. So we'll come out to the garden. And definitely enjoying the flowers. So these are zinnias that I just I just threw seeds out and they're doing really well. I've got a little bit of basil in here and some marigolds and a few little herbs. Oh, it looks like my thyme is going to seed, which is fine because it's a... Oh, no, that's not thyme. That's oregano. Um, still have a few onions in here, but not many. And got all the potatoes harvested. It about killed me. Um, but kind of the big stuff is the high tunnel and you can see that the high tunnel is definitely growing we did so i've been doing florida weave on the tomatoes and we actually have lots and lots of tomatoes they're not ripe yet but they're it's it's pretty loaded so we are going to have a bunch of tomatoes and i've got um we've still got some swiss chard it's you know it's getting late it's starting to get hot and so it's not doing so well but we just feed it the chickens and they absolutely love it but you can see there's more tomatoes over there and I'll show you my new trellis that I'm trying. So this is called the clipper system it's it's QLPR I think it's very interesting so we put up a cable up here and then these are just long wires and they hang down and then you attach to that and then to the tomato. And it, it actually works really good. I really, really like it. So I put, I personally put the shade cloth, got the shade cloth up on the high tunnel and it was hilarious, um, but I did it. And I'm very happy with it. We did, went with white shade cloth this time. It's 30% and then the, the um, poly gives you 10. So we've got 40% shade. Uh, Cucumbers are growing like crazy. I'm harvesting them, but since we're not in our house, we can't really make pickles. So I'm just trying to give them away. Um, and then peppers, and these are all serranos. Pete wanted serranos this year, so we got a bunch of serranos. And then I will walk out the back and see if we can see. Oh, I don't think you can see them. We got cows. So they're, they're way at the um, other end of the property near the road so we, we fenced pete fenced 
um, an eight, about eight acres in the front here. And we've got a friend that has, um, it's a bull, a cow, and a calf, and a pony. And the pony is like the bull's friend. So, and this is a bottle fed bull. So he is like super, super friendly, which is pretty funny. Um, but he's big. And anyway, so we're letting him put his, his cows here for probably a few months. Um, we've got a lot of grass. And so it saves him buying hay, which we're happy to do. And also, then it gives us cow pats on our property, which is on our land, which is really good for him. So here's Pete's Jimmy Red Dent Corn. And I mean, it's a, it's a dent corn, so it's supposed to do this. And of course, it looks really weird. But we've also got uh, butternut squash down here. They're small, but at least we've got a lot of them. And it's one of those winter squashes that's kind of nice to have. They don't look great, but they're okay. And they're bendy. And then here's his Hickory King corn. And he did them kind of different times so they wouldn't cross pollinate. And oh, one of them's falling down, but I bet we'll give that to the cows and they'll probably just love it. Um, out here, we've got, let's start over here. We've got some beans, some cover crop, some more beans. Beets into beans this year, some more cover crop. Here's our beets, and we've been harvesting and giving away like crazy. We sold a bunch of them too, um, but they got really, we had three hailstorms, and one of them was really bad at actually damaged Pete's truck, um, and the greens are just starting to come back on the beets. Now, I've also got uh, green beans in here, jade green beans, which I really love, but the hail was really rough on them. So sweet potatoes are in here, and they're in. Um, and then down there, I've got a teepee of uh, green beans, blue lake green beans. And then more squash. We're getting more squash than we know what to do with. So we're uh, giving a lot away. And my strawberries, I mean, they're okay, but I got to do something with them here because they're just not lush and it's, they're June bearing and I'm not going to get any berries this year, but that's okay. I'll get berries next year. And so I have to be patient. Anyway, the property is just, I feel like it's really feeling like home. And I wish the cows had come up here and I'd show them to you. But, but it's pretty neat to go out to just look out and see them. So the house is coming along. Our floors are going to be finished up today. And Pete did this and did all this gravel along here so we don't have all this mud, which is really nice. And I don't know. That's about it. So that's about all that's going on here. Um, Billy and Trish are headed here. We're excited about that. And we'll hopefully see them today. Um, but other than that, we're just working like dogs. <laughs> we're, we're tired. Um, but it's a good kind of tired. So things are coming along. And we are eating out of our garden, which makes me very, very happy. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to start canning yet, but you know, we'll, we'll do what we can do this year. We knew this was going to be one of those years that was going to be kind of odd, but you know, we'll do the best we can and it'll be good enough. So anyway, that's all. Um, talk to you soon. Love y'all. Bye.